Open your eyes. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. One hundred years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. 
The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario, aka RSM Plays, aka the realest man in the room, bringing you another uh, Breath of the Wild Let's Play video. Um, okay, so this is the fifth episode, so for you guys on the main channel, uh, I'm going to edit this down to, um, you know, to a reasonable time for your viewing pleasure, uh, and we'll, you know, have the main quests and stuff, and of course the cutscene you just saw, which I'm going to explain in a minute, um, and of course if you're watching on RSM Plays, which is my, um, my, my gameplay channel, you'll see, um, this will be the full, like, regular 23 episode uh, type of deal. So, here's what's going down. So, a lot has happened. Uh, so, I recorded the, um, I recorded the video for, uh, for, for this week. And what happened was the commentary got messed up. So, I can understand if the commentary just didn't work and it wasn't there at all. I would just release the video with no commentary. But that wasn't the case. <laughs> it um the commentary is there. It goes in and out, and it kind of ruins the experience of watching the video. So I really couldn't use that at all. I think I used some of that footage in my um in my um you know in my um thousand ways to die in Hyrule video that I did. So I took what I could, which was the cutscene from that video and I put it into this one so that way you guys can be kind of up to date on the story you know of what was going on and um you know that's about it <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm starting from where I originally had left off when I had finished recording so here we go Yeah, so I've already so I've already given up the four orbs to the um to the old man. He's already revealed that he's the king of Hyrule. So I have to um now I have to I'm technically supposed to go 
and um, meet Impa <laughs> uh, for the first time. So I gotta go to Kakariko Village. Yep. And I got the paraglider, so that's 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 awesome too. So let's head on out this way. What is going on over here? Something's not right about this. This is tar. This is definitely deadly, whatever this is. Uh, I don't like the looks of that. But luckily, I can freeze it. So I do know that some part of whatever this goo is, is water. Oh, fire arrows. All right. Ice arrows. Nice. All right. And let's see. I wasn't go. I wasn't go that way, but I figured I probably would die if I got over there. So, yep. There is some popping and stuff. Uh, that is because this is the Wii U version. Um, the Switch version. <laughs> uh, what had happened was uh, I was playing that version, and that's why I've been getting like uh, the footage from some of my other videos. And uh, I kind of played up ahead of a lot, <laughs> like way farther than this. So I'm like, uh, so yeah, I, I want to play up to that point. So you guys can get the Switch gameplay and the story at the same time. I should go. I should. I should go down there and get a horse, shouldn't I? You know what? Hold on. Last time I went down here, I got I got you know viciously murdered by freaking guardians. Oops. Uh, I thought there was some horses down there. Let's just go in there anyway. Cause I don't think I know what this shrine is. I might have hit this shrine before. Oh yeah, I remember this. No, you don't. Fuck. Dead and stuff. You know, something over there that saw me. I'm gonna use up all my food. I'll save it for later. I don't quite remember what's in this dungeon. I mean, what's in this uh, shrine. I don't know if it's one of those robot things or just a regular puzzle. Alright, so I think I remember this one. 
This one's all based around the paraglider. It's actually a pretty cool little um, little shrine. It's not the coolest shrine. Like, the coolest ones are some ones you get later. Like, the water one. Oh, my God. Like, the water guides. That one's actually a pretty cool one. A pretty cool one. I said, what? Cool. Why? Come on, bruh, bruh. Really? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> ha ha! Okay. Uh, now that I've nearly killed myself. Why does he look bored? He's like, huh? I could have became an accountant. for the uh, hearts. Man, I mean, I could have totally just saved my um, food. I didn't even have to, like, re-up on, on hearts in here. He was going to just restore them for me. That kind of blows. Alright, so for all my main channel folks, um, that's about it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep it real. And for my uh, RSM Place people, let's head to that tower.